Date, December 8, 1991. Location, Venezuela. This Eucharistic miracle occurred during the Midnight Mass on December 8, 1991 at the Marian Shrine of Finca Batania in Cua, Venezuela. Father Odi, chaplain of the shrine, thus describes the event. After having consumed one of the pieces of the large host which I had divided into four parts, I returned them to the patent. A little later, I looked down towards the patent, and I could not believe what I saw. One of the pieces of the host that I divided was showing a red spot, and from it, a red substance began to emanate, similar to how blood escapes from a wound. After mass, I took the host and preserved it safely in the sacristy of the shrine. The next day, at 6 in the morning, I went to see the host and verified that some blood continued to flow that a little later began to dry. However, still today the blood appears fresh. The strange thing is that the blood flowed only from one side of the particle, nevertheless without staining the remainder of the Eucharistic species. During the Mass, numerous pilgrims immediately verified that the priest did not have wounds from which the blood present in the host could have flowed. Besides, from the analysis, the result concluded that the blood of the priest did not match one of the particles. The host of the miracle was subjected to some special studies requested by the Bishop of Los Tex, His Eminence Most Reverend Pio Bello Ricardo, and the results confirmed that the blood was human blood type of AB positive, which matches the one found in the cloth of the Shroud of Turin and in the host of the Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano that occurred in Italy in 750 AD and was analyzed by 500 commissions of the World Health Organization. Since then, the host has been an object of veneration and devotion on the part of thousands of pilgrims coming not only from Venezuela but from all around the world. It is possible to go to the convent of the Augustinian Recollects Nuns of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in Los Tex to see the miraculous host all the days of the year at any hour in their chapel devoted to perpetual adoration. A young faithful from New Jersey, Daniel Sanford, having gone on a pilgrimage to the convent of the Augustinians to see the bleeding host, was able to film another miracle. Here is the story as per Daniel. On the 12th of November of 1998, I went on a pilgrimage to Batania with a prayer group, and they took us to see the miraculous host of Batania. Our spiritual director, Father Mazzarella, celebrated the Mass. After the celebration ended, he opened the door of the tabernacle which contained the host of the miracle. With great astonishment, I saw that the host was as if in flames, and there was a pulsating heart that was bleeding in its center. I saw this for about 30 seconds or so, then the host returned to normal. I was able to film a part of this miracle with my video camera. Humans are visual, and this miracle was not just seen by a few, but even recorded on a camera. How far will God go to show his love that is still burning for us? The Blessed Sacrament is this visual sign that God is giving you to portray his love that never ceases. Irrespective of this visual experience, Jesus is truly present there for us. Being in adoration is one way we can experience this love that God continues to give us. Let's spend more time in front of the Blessed Sacrament, at least spending some time every day in front of Him, hearing His voice, to see visually His presence in this world and how He continues His salvific work.